In this video, we're going to explore the third major conversation point for our push-ups. And we're going to talk about sort of arm slot angle. Uh, so what I've done is I've just, you know, kind of drawn a, a helicopter view of someone. So imagine they're lying down on the ground in their push-up position. And we're going to talk about where the arm should be. So without digging uh, too far into the anatomy and the biomechanics of it all, recognize that we have a choice to basically have the arms at a T all the way down into arms at an I. So basically we have like 90 degrees of choice for where the arm slot should be. So horizontal all the way down to vertical. Uh, now there is going to be individual differences. There's going to be uh, ways that you are built or some of your injury history. But on a very general level, it's important to recognize that uh, whether you're here, here, or here, there is going to be a different level of contribution or work happening from the chest, shoulder, and tricep muscles. So you at least should have an idea that your stance will determine what is getting stronger or what is being trained. So for the sake of conversation, oversimplifying it, recognize that if you were to go to sort of a T stance position, you're going to get a lot of development in the shoulder. Now there's pros and cons, there's, there's some negative biomechanical issues, but you're probably going to get the largest stimulus to the shoulder muscles themselves. On the flip side, if you have your arms at a very sort of like downward angle, you are going to get a lot in the triceps, just based on how you fold and how you move. And so knowing that we're trying to get as much work into the chest as possible, we're trying to create the largest amount of growth and stimulus here, it's important to know that basically a 45 degree arm slot gives us the optimal or ideal chest activation. So once again, viewing basically from behind, we want the arms to be at a 45 degree arm slot, essentially creating an arrow with the body. So once again, just, just looking at the upper arms, creating an arrow. So once we've established that position, the next conversation is about where the hands should go on the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some space down here, but arms are at a 45 degrees and my palms are obviously up. So even just observing from the side, you'll recognize that there is a pretty good relationship between my fingertips and my chin. And that in this position, my chin is above my fingers. We want to use that in this scenario. So I'm going to set up my hands on the ground. I am then going to actively lean forward. I am trying to push my chin past my fingers as if I'm slightly leaning over the top. Keep the abs braced, squeeze the chest as we talked about in our last video, and control. Through. So there is a lot of information here. We talked about upper arm angle, and then we talked about head position. Very early on, this could feel unique, challenging. There's certainly probably going to be more work happening in the upper half, but that's a good thing. We want this to be challenging in order to get the most from it. If it's easy, probably not doing it right. So uh, take this information, start to experiment with hand position, ensure the chin is over the top, Use a friend or a video or feedback from me to ensure that you're setting up in the right arm slot. And hopefully you'll start to feel a lot of new, unique, challenging components for your push-up.